this time soon. Väga skift. Haha. Kas sa teadsid, et kui muru on liiga tihti ja niideta, siis on linnas ka elurikus palju rahkem nagu siin. Siin on päris hästi niitvata muru. Ja siia kõndides ma leidsin päris palju juba plasti. Ja tegelikult see teeb mind päris korvaks. Ja see tõttu tähistab UNESCO ühendkoondi võrgustiku Läänemare projekt. 27. augustil Läänemare päeva ja kutsub üheksa Läänemäräse riigi kodanike osalema loodusvaatlustes. Loodusvaatlused toimuvad igal pool, igal ajal, aga 27. augustil ühe päeva jooksul. See, kuidas osaleda, mis sugused hauindu võita ja miks me seda kõike teeme ja kui oluline see keskkonna on, selleks vaata see video lõpuni. For the BioBlitz, we suggest using iNaturalist. That way, you will be making a contribution to citizen science at the same time. Here is how it works. First, open your Play Store or Apple Store and search for iNaturalist. Hit that install button and wait a moment. After the installation is finished, go ahead and open the app. Swipe through the intro and at the Let's Get Started page, click at the bottom on Skip for Now. You can log in with Facebook or Google, or at the bottom, click Sign Up Now in order to create your own iNaturalist account. Enter your email address, a secure password, and finally, a username. Afterwards, click on Sign Up. You will be signed in and land at the My Observations page. I'm going to be honest with you, this is where the fun starts. Let's click at the bottom on Make an Observation. Here you have several options. In most cases, we use either take photo or choose image. This time, we will choose an image. You will need to allow iNaturalist to access media on your device by clicking on allow. Now you will see the different photos you have taken and you can select the image you would like to record or even select multiple images. The photos will be imported into your iNaturalist observation. Below your imported photos, you can click on what did you see to help identify the species. If you see the species in your photo, then select it. But if you aren't sure, you can click on the box species search. In this case, we know we are dealing with a beetle. So we enter that and click on beetles. And here's the cool part. After we publish our observation, other iNaturalist citizen scientists can help identify our observation. Under notes, we can add some additional information, like where exactly we found it. In this case, found it near my house. You can also add a date and the exact position or coordinates of where you found the species. Furthermore, you can change the location visibility in order to protect a rare or endangered species from being found by someone who might even intend on harming or damaging it. As a citizen scientist, it is also your duty to report whether the species is captive or cultivated by checking the box to the right. We don't want anybody searching in vain for the first wild Lithuanian python, do we now? Once you are finished with the observation details, hit the check mark at the bottom. Congrats, your first of many observations to come. Have fun.